having suffered a narrow 2-1 defeat, what's your mood like right now? Yeah, overriding emotion right now is disappointment, obviously, just conceding in the last minute, having had quite a bit of the game we felt, um, definitely enough chances to go on and, and win the game. Um, their keeper just been walking off there with the champagne, so that tells you the story. Um, especially to come down here with a full house as well um, and, and kind of silence the crowd for a lot of the game. I, I, I thought we stuck to the plan well and slight tweak in system from the manager worked well for a lot of the game. Um, but unfortunately, just um, fell short at the end. Because, yeah, ultimately, take your chances as a team, clearly. You win that game two or three. Yeah, and I think it's, it's easy to say now, but it's one to learn from in terms of even not getting beat, I think we've got some good balls into certain areas towards the end and we're a bit eager to get the cross in. People with their head down and just trying to obviously get the winner, but you know, on another looking back, you might just keep it in the corner, turn back out and, and run the clock down. So it's that mix between you want to go on and win the game, you don't want to lose it. Ultimately, you know, you, you want to try and win it, don't you? So you feel we can come to these to anyone and win, so it's, yeah, disappointing. Strange that in the kind of academic sense that at Port Vale you dominated the game in, in every sense and, and saw it out and against well or clearly better opposition but all that kind of thought process seemed to go out the window then. Yeah and I think in terms of what we showed at Port Vale you need that in every game regardless of you know you want to call it level of opposition you need that fight and, and, and that kind of team you know filling gaps and working for each other and I think we had that especially in the first half I felt last 10 minutes we just dropped deeper and deeper naturally when the bodies got tired um, just give them a little bit of encouragement the crowd and, and, and yeah they, they managed to nick one at the end as a as a kind of marker overall as to where Wednesday are in terms of your ambitions of winning the league what what do you think tonight shows then um yeah, tough one because I think we feel we're good enough to come anywhere and win, so it is a kick in the teeth and having shown that throughout the game especially, but um, we knew it would be a high-level game. They're, they're doing really well, similarly to, you know, they're winning in different ways. They went to Wickham on the weekend and, and won a different way, it's, as we have before, do you know what I mean, against different opposition, there's always different hurdles. Tonight was, we thought it would be more of a footballing match, but... You know, both teams played the percentages and, yeah, looking back at the at the chances, I think it could have gone either way, to be honest. You, however, did score uh, and a very snap, quick equaliser in a frenetic start to the game. I mean, your tally for the season now stands at three. How pleased are you with that? Yeah, always happy to score and help the team. Obviously, I think um, Tariq did well to spot me, just roll inside and kind of half thought I was offside when I took my touch because nobody was around me it felt like there's acres of space I managed to just scuff it in the corner to be honest um, so yeah good response because I think up to that point as well we made a bright start you know we broke down the pitch I crossed it and then it got recycled two seconds later it's in your goal so a uh, good reaction to, to going behind um, and then again I think we kicked on from there um, half time we felt the game was there for the taking but yeah it wasn't, wasn't meant to be